What's up guys, it's Brandon and Kaylee. Today we're heading from Charlotte, North Carolina and we're heading south to Columbia, South Carolina for a National Drive Electric Week at the Soda City Market. Just want to take a moment and thank today's video sponsor, EV Wash. There is a code down below for 30% off your order. They sell a wonderful kit of car washing products marketed towards EV owners. We have their waterless wash interior cleaner that does have a UV protectant in it and a glass cleaner. Also some special cloths and a bag for your dirty cloths. Let's use the waterless wash to clean off some bugs on the front end of the car. Give it a nice spray so that way it can kind of be loosened up and simply wipe off, repeat as necessary. Again, 30% off code down below. Thank you to EV Wash for sp sponsoring today's video. And in typical Brennan and Kaylee fashion, we are running late. Uh, this event was supposed to start at 9 a.m., but you can see we're heading pretty much straight south from the Charlotte area all the way down to Columbia. Let's get going. And for reference, uh, the car is displaying 301 miles of estimated range, but that's based on a lot of city driving we've been doing lately. So we'll see how the car does uh, at a little bit longer distance. This is the first longer drive we've done in our ID4. Made it onto the interstate. Now we're going to be kicking on travel assist. So you do that just by pressing this this lower button here. You can see the green lines that indicates that it can see the lines and then it does show a car up ahead and you can actually switch views to see a little bit bigger if you'd like. Well, we've driven 53 miles now. We're averaging uh, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour and it's now displaying 200 miles of estimated range down from I think it was like 305 when we first left and we have certainly not driven 105 miles. So that shows you how a guessometer works, being that it's based on your prior driving, not your future driving. So always take that into consideration. And let's see how far out we are. Looks like we've got about 29 miles to go. When we just got here, you can see lots of Teslas and Leafs and all sorts of electric cars. We average 2.7 mile per kilowatt hour. Uh, over the course of 82 miles, and the car is now projecting 163 miles of range. And talk about fitting placement, there's a Starbucks literally right there.
went and got some food and a drink or two at this market on Main Place. Did I have one of your hairs on my face? No, a fuzzy. No, oh, okay. Um, with some of the Drive Electric and Columbia Tesla owner group people. That was a nice time. And now we're going to be heading back to Charlotte. I think we're going to stop at McDaniel's Porsche in like 15-ish miles on our way back. Um, just meander the lot for a few minutes, get a few extra kilowatt hour in the back, and then we'll head to Charlotte. What do you think of the event, Kayla? This is your first time coming to one of these. Yeah, it was good. I mean, there was a lot of people. It was kind of like right in the center of this little like uh, farmers market kind of thing, but it was downtown Columbia, so it was nice to see like a lot of people that didn't know anything or much about electric cars come up to like people and ask questions, and like there was a few times that it just seemed like people like at least a few people will probably be converted just from the event so yeah i think a lot of people didn't realize how many new electric cars had come out even just like in the past year the maki yeah. the id4 um like the tycon even the tycon is like a halo car of sorts even though a lot of people can't afford it it's still like they realize oh hey porsche is taking electric seriously like electric's here and it's like actually good it's not just this well, nerdy the thing anymore most interest i saw came i mean obviously people were like ooh porsche pretty but the most interest was like for the xc40 recharge or the mach e or like rid4 like yeah pe those were like oh i they, i could picture myself in this car and i mean obviously there was teslas there too but like every i feel like everyone kind of knows what a tesla is at this point <laughs> yeah because like uh one of the local volkswagen dealerships was the sponsor for this event and they had an id4 kind of right in the middle of the event um, but they had to leave at noon and it went till like 1.30 or so so once that happened I pulled my ID4 like right into the middle and a lot more people came up and were talking about it and I think a lot of people were genuinely interested in not just asking questions to like poke fun or because they yeah. thought it was a novelty they were actually asking questions like how it can fit into their lifestyle which was yeah. cool to see especially as someone that's done similar events like in for past. quite a, like for quite a few years you, it's cool to see that evolution from events that are basically just teslas plus like a leaf and a bolt to like a few teslas and a bunch of other cars that people can actually pick a car that suits their needs not just oh hey i have to get a tesla because it's the only like super feasible electric car at this point so anyway let's get on the road so we're not sit just sitting here on the side of the road much longer and we're currently at 148 miles of estimated range. And we're at 61% state of charge. And since charge, we've averaged 2.7 mile per kilowatt hour. 50% charge update, we've gone 104 miles, averaging 2.7 mile per kilowatt hour. Just driving along, going a little over 70 miles an hour. Pretty solid to me. Well, we made it back, uh, pulled in at 18%. It's estimating 50 miles remaining. Crossed over 2,000 miles on the odometer now. And just a recap, let me show you some stats from this drive. So here we have it since charge, and we did 165 miles, uh, average 58 miles per hour, but that was including like stop time while still in drive. So our actual like interstate driving speed was quite a bit higher and we averaged 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Let's do some math and see what that ends up being in watt hour per mile. And that ends up being 370 watt hour per mile. And here we have uh, from our return drive from Columbia back to Charlotte. And I think there was a slight elevation gain on this aspect. So 2.7 mile per kilowatt hour, and we did 82 miles in an hour and 26 minutes, and we were going pretty quick. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see future content, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.